All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you a neat little trick here. You'd think at this point, since we have our design done, that we would be going to gear bubble and we would be launching it, but you would be incorrect because what we're going to do right now is we're going to create our mock-up that we can post on our Facebook page because honestly, we don't even know if this design is worth pursuing or not. Well, I do, but I'm kind of cheating here because I've already done this one. But you're going to repeat this process for every test that you do. I'm not even launching this yet I'm because I, I don't know. I don't know if it works. I have to ask the audience if they like it before I bother putting any more time, energy, or money into it. That includes going so far as not to even launch it on Gearbubble yet. Because I don't know. This is a test one. Okay? So, I've used a program in this case. I usually use Photoshop, but for this one I use GIMP. And you can down this, download this for free. Go to Google, type in download GIMP, and you can get this exact same thing. It's free of charge, so you don't pay a penny for it, and you can use it for this step very easily. I'm going to show you how. There's one template file that you need. You can also create that yourself. If you need the one from this video, let me know. I'll probably just post it in the, uh, in the membership area for you guys, though. So, I have my image open. I just want to go to File, Open. And I want to open my template. So here's my rounded necklace one. Okay, this is already set to size. It's 1200 by 1200, which is what I want. Um, but now I want to put this image onto this. So how the heck am I going to do that? Well, I'm going to go here. I'm going to go to Edit. I'm going to Copy Visible. I'm going to go over here. And in this left side, I'm going to right click and create a new layer. Okay, it's going to be 1200 by 1200 transparent. Okay, and then I'm going to go edit, paste. Now, since my image is a lot bigger than my, sorry, my design size is a lot bigger than my actual image that I want to use, I need to scale this down. So I'm going to save you a lot of hassle here. See this little button on the right that says scale tool? Well, we're just going to click that here, click on the image, and we're going to bring it down. We can type this in to 805 by about 805. That'll keep it square. And then I hit scale. And it should go down. No, oh, it didn't go down. Hang on. 805 by 805. Okay. I'm not sure why that didn't scale. But let's drag it around a bit. There we go. By 805. There, it's scaled. Okay, now I can't move it with my scale tool. I have to click on my move tool, which is right here, this one. So I click the move tool and then I drag it over. I want to kind of center it as best I can. It doesn't have to be perfect, but just get it. So it looks good. You can scroll down to make sure it fits. Very nice. Now, I've got my, basically, the image that I'm going to use for my mock-up on my page that I'm going to post. So I need to go like this. File. And then I'm going to do, I believe, export as. Okay. And then I'm going to leave it in my in, in this case, put it in the folder for your specific image, and we're going to call it um, mockup police. And we're, we can do all this save background, uh, save I usually leave this to the defaults. And just click on export. And now I have a file created called mockupplease.png. Right here, it's in my, well, in this case, it's in my courses folder. But I can now use this image to post to my page. And I didn't even have to go into Gearbubble and create this. Isn't that neat? So I just saved myself how much time in not having to launch a million campaigns because I'm not launching a campaign until I know or until I have a good feel that that campaign is going to work. This is what you should be doing too. You want to save yourself as much time as possible. Think of the possibilities with this. Because you're not going into your Gearbubble account, 
could you outsource this to somebody? Mm, yep, you could very easily. And they would not even get access to your GearBubble account. To me, your GearBubble account is only for very, very trusted employees, yourself, and nobody else. So I don't want anybody in there snooping around in my account. I would rather have an outsourcer make mock-ups and post those to my page for this research phase if I were to choose to outsource it. Right now, you're going to do it all alone because that's the stage we're at. That's okay. You're going to learn how to do it. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how I post this to my page. But wait, I don't have a link, do I? Uh, don't need it. And you'll see why in a second.